Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out to see the things you truly need to see about your life, the more things that you need to change more things you need to let go of or things that you need to bring you know bring enhancements to your life and with that being said I hope, you know all of you get everything that you have been hoping and wishing for so uh with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line i hope that you know um I can get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And also, um, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And if you feel like the video is being, giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so, especially if they're going through trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their sole purpose. Um, and while you're at it, give me a, th a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media and favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my meditation music I'm listening to in the background, once again, is Buddha. I love Buddha uh, images. It's, like, so relaxing to me. Um, and the meditation is called, uh, is by Good Vibes Channel. It's called Let Go of Mental Blockages, 417 Hertz. And um, dissolve negative energy and waking your true self. You know, shoot, we need those type of vibes in our, in our lives. Going through so many different changes and rearranges. So, uh, with that being said, let me see what I got. Oh, yeah. Um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, is your choices does not belong to fate. It belongs to you. It is true. You know, even though fate... Um, the, fate holds the future you know the information of our future and they show everything but it's up to the choices you make because things can change all the time you know you can go like to a fortune teller and they can tell you these things there and then fortune teller could be really really legit now and they're like oh well you know they lied to me and they said these things were going you know going to happen in my life but if you didn't make those right choices you know that's where your fate belongs to you know it belongs to things that you make your choices on you know, we always have that choice to do the right thing. Or are you going to just go by things you usually do go by because you weren't and you felt like you were entitled to change? You didn't like the change. You know, anything could happen to be placed upon your way, but it's just the way you have to be able to see it for what it truly is. So it, it's just like, you know, you know, you want better things in your life, but. If you're not, if you're just sitting there and waiting for it to fall in your lap, it's not going to do that. <laughs> you know, I always tell people, I don't mind helping you. I'll go all the way out my way, but you have to be able to do your part too. You can't expect change if you won't be that. So, uh, going through all those different things, it, it can really be hard. You know, it's just like the journey wasn't meant for it to be an easy road. It, it will allow you to see things for what they truly are, no matter how beautiful or how ugly it was. You're able to see it for what it truly is and those are the things you have to work hard for being able to see yourself in the truest form as possible being able to you know walk the walk and talk the talk at the same time that's why i always say you know i can't sit up here and tell somebody they need to let go of things and i'm still dealing with my things and i tell people all the time hey i'm a work in progress i'm doing as much as you are you know being able to heal letting go of things and that's the reason why i let let my you know let y'all in my life and let you know the lessons and the things that i'm going through current time because so many people can resonate with the situations at hand when it comes to my videos and that's the blessing that i love to hear it's just to know that hey Roz, i'm going through this as well you know thank you for allowing me to see this you know at least i know i'm not alone i love it when i'm able to hear that and loving the fact that when i'm able to make these videos there's so many people they can put sense to the 
you know the crazy chaos that goes on in your life because a lot of times you might be scared to open up your mouth and tell people hey i'm going through this you know i'm i'm dealing with this and i'm dealing with that but you know a lot of people don't believe me or understand the things that i'm going through and i understand that you know it can be scary to open up your life towards people especially if you know you've been ridiculed so many times before because you're worried about what people think what people are going to say are they going to get you and they're going to understand what you're going through or they're going to deal with this or they're going to deal with that you know all those different things you have to be able to understand you know understand for yourself and knowing that these are the things you got to go through so you know dealing with that you have to put understanding to um but it's just like the choices we make you have to be able to know which you know a lot of times when people ask me Rosalind am I doing the right thing and this and this and that, I'm like what do you think <laughs> you know I'll tell you but it's just up to you if you're going to deal with because especially if you keep going the same route that you've been going it, I mean that road is going to get rough more rougher and rougher and rougher you have to be able to know that you know like when it was like me dealing with my sobriety I, there were so many signs that told me I need to just stop you know, losing money in different places, didn't know where I was losing it at, forgetting things. Like, shoot, I could forget things without me even, you know, smoking marijuana. What the heck I didn't enhance it for? You know, so it's just like I had to be able to, you know, because it was just like me wasting money all the time trying to get that fixed because, you know, I didn't want to feel the things that I felt. You know, I, I just wanted to block the energy out, you know, ease my pain. But the only way I can do that is like facing them head on, deciding, you know what, I'm not going to let these things keep affecting me, especially if these people are not in my life anymore. I don't cut them out of my life. You know, they're they're trying to pry in. No tell, you know, they're trying to get befriend me all the time, especially when it came to family. And it hurt like hell to go through that, knowing, you know, I had to be think about that in a sober mind and knowing I had to face the things that I need to truly face. But I had to be able to face it sober because it was just like, you know, I tell anybody, you know, if you're doing it for medicinal purposes or, you know, if you're you're smoking weed for, you know, like an illness that you have, like seizures, they're good for seizures. They're good for uh, Parkinson's. They're good for, I uh, forgot what else, cancer, AIDS patients and stuff like that. I understand when you have to deal with that. Because it's pain management. But if it's just something just to block out the troubles you have, it's like, yeah, it's going to be gone for that minute. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have fun for like about 10 minutes. You know, it's a quick high, but it's, you know, it's just, it can be expensive. But it was like that at that point where, you know, all the people, my plugs and everything, I didn't, you know, I, I just started dropping them out there, my life and they were dropping out of mine. And those are the signs I was getting. Hey, you need to stop smoking. Okay, it served its purpose in your life. Yeah, we knew you were dealing with a lot and you, you were going to need something to get you through this. But it has served purpose. Let go with it, with love and being able to face these things head on you know and it i mean it hasn't been no easy road there's times where i wanted to light up a cigarette but it's just like the fact is i haven't smoked a cigarette since november of last year it's like they stink so bad to me and you know being able to you know try smoking weed again and then i did it on my birthday and i was just like you know what this is not me anymore <laughs> i can't walk around like this i can't function like that because i haven't did it in so long so it felt like i was very paranoid so it was just like this is not me i don't knock anybody else that does it but this is not for me so it was just all the things i've endured it was by choice and it was just like you know a lot of times we can get frustrated because we feel like we should have been there by now or we feel like we should have been having our blessings by now but you have to understand you had to go through these things to actually get to your blessing you have to go through the ups and downs you have to go through the mistakes as long as you're not making the same mistakes over again um being able to see the beauty in that tragedy uh going through all those things that's going to get you towards your blessing that's going to manifest all these things you're manifesting them already but there's sometimes there you know it's like a a leap and then there's a halt and sometimes it slows down sometimes it even stops but you know that means you need to keep on going don't don't give up because you feel like i'm not gonna get this that's ego you're allowing ego to get a hold of you and you're letting darkness get a hold of you there's a lot of times that things that will test you will be put in your path by the universe or even darkness just to see if you're gonna go run back to that weakness you know there's so many times i went like you know could smell it and I know I could have got some, you know, when it came to weed or whatever. And I'm just like, ugh, I'm good. You know, it's just, it's just like universe say, are you going to go back to how you used to be? 
are you going to do the smart thing and decide you don't need that? Because it's like, no, nah, why would I want to go back and keep doing that, you know? So it's all by the choices you make, what holds what holds faith, car, faith cards for you. So you have to understand when you're doing things, if you have to ask other people, and you know good and well, like your mom said, you know good and well you ain't supposed to be doing that. You shouldn't have to ask anybody like that. You know, you really shouldn't. Um, so it's just like, no that you hold the fate to your own card. You know, you have you hold the cards to your own fate. Do what you need to do. You know, you want things in your life better. And I tell myself that all the time. You know, you want things in your life to be better. You have to be able to be better. You have to be able to treat yourself better. Treat others better. Being able to love behind all measures. Being able to let go of the anger, especially towards people that have pushed things towards you. You have to be able to let them go and just understand those people are just going to be those people. You know, you're not going to be the first person. You're not going to be the last, you know. But as long as you're pushing out positivity, not wishing stuff on people. I did that too. Wish stuff on, oh, that's what you get. I hope you get this and this and that because you did that to me. It makes you no better than the person that afflicted that on you. You have to be that better person. You can't allow people to push you out your, you know, out your character. You know, I'll let people know what it is. I'll give them the business, but I'm not going to just come out my way. I'm going to tell you, hey, I don't like that. Or, hey, don't, don't direct me towards that. Or don't pressure me to do that. And it's not like I hate that person, but I'm going to let you know how I feel about that situation. You know, I had to put boundaries up. I was that person that felt a certain way, but didn't say anything. Now it's like, uh uh. <laughs> you know, just like I tell people, I don't mind talking to you. I have a certain time. I, you know, I'm able to chat with you. Other than that, that's my sleep time and that's my me time. You know, and if, you know, I tell people, hey, don't feel that, you know, I'm being, a, you know, being an itch with the B on the front of it, but I put boundaries up, you know, because it was just like when I was allowing people, you know, I do counselments with people. I, you know, I hate to be able to, I mean, have not hate, but, you know, wanting to do that by helping them know truly about themselves or help guiding them towards the path they need to take or take them towards that direction. That's what universe has me doing these things for. But it's just like, it has to be on a certain time. You know, any in between those times, right there, hey, I'm at your disposal, disposal if I'm not busy. You know, I try to be able to help people as best way as I can, but just respect my time. You know, there's I don't get that much sleep. My, my sleep habits are very hectic. And there's times people have hit me up three, four o'clock in the morning, one o'clock in the morning and I'm just like it better be a life and death situation if you're hitting me up like that you know other than that if it's not something that can wait until like after 9 30 in the morning hey you you're on the verge of getting blocked I only tell people twice you know and when I tell people twice and you hit me up that third time and next time you look to get ready to hit me up and it's blocked then you know why because you went over your boundaries you know I, especially if it's like you know men I definitely don't talk to you after certain times just because the fact is I don't know if you have a female friend, a significant other. I don't need nobody's drama. <laughs> I don't need nobody's drama. I don't want nobody like that. And I don't need anybody coming at me like that because you never know what that person is thinking and saying, like, why are they texting this person at this night, you know, this time of night? But it's all about respect. But it's just like you're going on your, you know, on your road to self-discovery. You're, you know, you're learning new things about your life. You're going about it different ways. And you have to know these are the choices you have to be very careful on in your life. Because, you know, the choices you make can, like, either bless you or knock you the heck down. So being able to pay attention and make sure you're doing the right things for you. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Um, much love to Greg Asika. I think that's your last name. I, uh, my 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 good friend from Poland. <laughs> much love to you. And I hope everybody has a blessed week. Um, this week is almost over. Thank you, Jesus. You know, these headaches are killing me. So I'm about to get off. If y'all don't see me during the next day or this comes out the next day and this is going to be my last video. If you don't see me later on today, that means I took another day off because these headaches are really killing me. So like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell drop me a line so i can be able to give you a shout out on my next video oh and let me give a shout out to uh michael rat ratson i hope everything is all well with you as well so i will talk to y'all later know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and i love you from the bottom of my heart and i'll see you on my next video much love peace be wild